Hi there everyone and welcome back to another a pretty exciting chess game from the history of chess from 1954. Uh, in this chess game we have Boris Spassky with the white pieces, the 10th world chess champion, the official world chess champion and his opponent, his opponent was Vladan Zurakov, the chess champion of Ukraine uh, for one time, the chess champion of Ukraine, so he was a chess master uh, from Ukraine. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Boris Spassky, who has the white pieces, starts the game with e4. We have c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, and this is the open Sicilian, accepting and opening the position, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6, and this is the neither of variation of the Sicilian defense. Bishop to g5, e6, queen to f3, h6, bishop back, bishop to e7, and Spassky castled, which is uh, one of the common ideas in the open Sicilian. Usually aggressive chess players likes to castle in the queen side uh, after the open Sicilian and pawn storm in the king side. So developing the queen and also black is going to try to open the queen side and attack the white king. Bishop to e2, knight to c6, exchanging the knights and black captured back with the pawn and this opens the b file. So black wants to uh, create a battery and try to attack the king. e5 by Boris Spassky. So the first interesting move in the chess game he is basically sacrificing a pawn, and d takes on e5. Black is accepting the sacrifice, but you can see that the c pawn and also the e pawn is a weakness. So targeting the pawn, rook from h to e1, and then black castled, bishop to d3, rook to b8, targeting the king, bishop to g3, and Boris Spassky is targeting the e pawn. So black is defending the e pawn and queen to e2 by Spassky. So black was materialistic and black is defending the pawn again, knight to d7, defending and bishop to c4 by Spassky. He doesn't want uh, he doesn't want to open the a file, so we have bishop to c4, knight to b6. And after defending the bishop, let's say bishop to b3. Black wants to push the pawn and support the pawn, so it is white to move. And Boris Spassky played an incredible move. He played rook takes on d6, slashing, dashing attack by Boris Spassky. And we have, of course, if queen takes rook, then bishop takes on e5. So that's a skewer, that's a nasty skewer. So queen takes on d6, and you might ask what happens if knight takes on c4, then white has this very strong move, okay, queen takes knight, queen takes rook, bishop takes on e5, is also pretty fine for white, you can see that the c pawn and also the a pawn are pawn islands, but in this position white has this very strong move, rook to d4, the e pawn is pinned, so after defending the knight with capturing the pawn, bishop takes on e5, and white is better in this position, how to defend the rook. This is a nasty skewer. So in this position, Boris Spassky played rook takes on d6, queen takes on d6, and then bishop takes on e5. After defending the queen and attacking the bishop, not capturing the rook, but queen to g4 by Spassky, threatening checkmate. A Capturing the rook is not going to give a big advantage to white because of knight takes on c4 and the material is even. So queen to g4 and threatening checkmate, how to defend. So in this position there are few alternative defenses in this position. E g6 or g5 should have been considered in this position, but those moves are going to weaken the dark squares seriously, very seriously actually, and defending is going to be very tricky. 
and even if g5 or g6 white is better but in this position black played f6 and this is not a very good move because Boris Spassky simply captures on e6 and he's a pawn up after check moving the king and then simply capturing the rook rook takes on b8 and black is aiming the king knight to e4 very important move by Boris Spassky activating the knight attacking the queen and also defending on f2 so queen to b5 aiming aiming on b2 a silent move by Boris Spassky rook to d1 e, placing the rook in the open file knight to d5 closing the open file and activating the knight and also attacking on b2 liberating the rook and targeting on b2 so easily defending knight to b4 getting closer to the king which looks annoying but maybe in this position defending with the king a king to b2 comes to mind but in this position Boris Spassky played another silent move and he played queen to d6 allowing knight takes on a2 the third silent move by Boris Spassky but this was a silent killer move after king to b2 this is attacking the knight so black has to defend the knight knight to b4 and it is white to move and win what would you do in this position so after defending the knight black is giving a very valuable tempo to white so white has a very valuable tempo and in this position Boris Spassky played another very strong winning move what would you do if you had the white pieces okay so Boris Spassky played knight takes on f6 kaboom and we have queen to b6 not capturing the knight actually if capturing the knight black is losing by force if king goes down then check and getting checkmated and uh, if king goes up a uh, king goes sorry to the side then rook to d7 and how to defend the checkmate threat there is no defense the engine says knight check king to b1 sacrificing the queen capturing the queen and very soon black is getting checkmated there is no sensible defense in this position as well so this was the move by boris spassky and this is why black is defending queen to b6 so let's play a random move uh, i will try to explain why queen to b6 so in this position if some random move what would you do it is very simple of course queen to d8 check only move capturing the rook getting checkmated please note that the knight is also covering the escape squares so after knight takes on f6 black is defending the dark square with the queen but this move is a losing move as well can you see why because of knight to d7 forking the queen and the rook and this is game over so this is why after this move Vladin Zurakov resigned the Ukrainian chess master the possible continuation defending the queen what else and simply capturing the rook and simplifying the game and white is a rook up and also white has one extra pawn this is all over for black so first move knight takes on f6 queen to b6 of course queen to a5 is also going to be a blunder because queen takes rook so queen to b6 defending on d8 but this allows knight to d7 easily winning for white and this is why black resigned so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time take care and bye bye